Uh, Jeff Haddock uh, was a captain this year, uh, transfer from Rowan. We were happy enough and uh, lucky enough, rather, to, to, to snatch him from Rowan. <laughs> uh, one of the better shooters in the league. He's a guy that uh, led uh, by example. Uh, one of the classiest players I've ever coached. Always was there, always punctual, always doing what we asked him to do. Um, great student, great in the classroom. Was an RA this year, uh, represented the program really well. Was a part-time starter, and he was a guy that we kind of relied on, especially for the outside shot and for a lot of leadership. Uh, he's another guy that we wish we had from the beginning out of high school. And this is what happens sometimes at our level. We get guys later on and, you know, they make impacts on the team. But he's a guy that I would have loved to coach for four years. You know, he's going to be missed. I'm actually real grateful, you know. I've even told Coach Brown this before that, you know, that opportunity he, that he gave me the last game when I played at Rome was actually against NJCU. He was like the first coach to step up to me and lend his hand out for a second opportunity once I got my transfer release. So, like, that was a second opportunity for me to be able to play on the basketball court again and I, I thanked him so much for that because again I kind of thought I was done after that like I didn't think that I wanted to play anymore or whatever but once he gave me that second opportunity and welcomed me into the system and in the uh, gothic night family I was just wondering like this could really be it and then once I was in like I felt so comfortable I know when I first got there it was a little hard for me like just you know actually playing defense and actually running as much as we did and just getting used to the you know community around NJCU my first semester there was a little hard, but once I came back, you know, everybody was just so welcoming. Uh, coach made me feel like it was home, you know, the players, you know, Sam, of course, when he was there and then all the other players that came back with me, they just made me feel at home, made me feel comfortable enough to play within the system and within the Gothic Knight family. So like, I just built a home there, a home away from home. So me being there is just very grateful for myself and great, very grateful for everybody that, you know, was open arms for me coming into that system from another school. So I was thankful enough for that. You truly had um, what you could describe as a full student athlete holistic experience. You played sport for three years here. Uh, Tina went to the playoffs every year. You were an RA. You were on student government. You were in Greek life. Talk about the value of being able to do all of that at one school at the Division three level. Um, and really how that full experience kind of helped shape who you were after college. Oh, that, that the full experience was great. You know, I would never take it back. I'll do it all over again if I could. You know, there was definitely stressful nights, but shaping me into who I am, it, it made me become more patient person, um, a person to learn how to network better, um, a person to know right from wrongs and where to be and where not to be. You know, like once I've gotten the opportunity to transfer to NJCU, I've had a chance to understand that not everything has to be rushed and that not everything has to be done right away. Um, I learned to be more professional, you know, within myself and being around other people. I learned how to be able to create conversations with anybody I want in any room. So like I became more comfortable with myself. I became more vocal with myself and others. And, you know, um, just having that full experience of Greek life, like you said, you know, student government and everything, uh, just everything I was a part of, the RA, Res Life staff, and being on the basketball team, it was just great enough for me to understand, you know, the value of life basically, because after school, you know, you're in adult life now, and then you gotta learn how to make your way through. And me being at NJCU definitely stepped myself up. I, I leveled up more than I, I figured I would any other time. So it was definitely a great experience for me personally. But, you know, me living out here now, you know, uh, out in Vegas. I'm actually going to be going to grad school at Nevada State College to pursue my master's in speech pathology. Um, right now I'm looking for a few jobs. I have a few job opportunities here and there, um, but I'm just going to see what fits best within my uh, graduate schedule and everything. I'm hoping to look for a coaching job if possible as well. Um, I still want to stay connected to basketball, um, but for sure um, I'll be working on my master's right now and then after my master's I'll be in the field of speech pathology and hopefully opening my own uh, clinic or anything. Uh, Jameek Moore was a transfer from uh, Claflin University, Division II. And uh, just unfortunately, we only had him one year. We would like to have him. 
uh, for four. Uh, you know, he came in with an unfortunate injury in the beginning of the season, but he was one of the most complete players I thought in this league. Um, and, you know, he, he finished up strong. I thought he had a slow start. And once he got comfortable with the league, comfortable with the program, comfortable with what we wanted from him, I thought he kind of um, adjusted his game. Uh, he's a clever player, can do other things, and the ball, shoot, defend, rebound. He's a real complete player, and I thought he was one of the most complete players in the league. So uh, we were just happy to have him for this year, and um, it was a pleasure coaching him. And uh, looking forward to, uh, you know, what he gets to accomplish in the future. I know he, he would like to play professionally, and if that's something that's on the table, I think he has the ability to possibly do that. Part of the program for your senior year, um, to have the opportunity to finish your career at home and be an impact player on this program, what did that mean to you? Uh, it was, it felt good just, you know, cause I, I didn't really get to play at home like I wanted to, cause I went to a JUCO. So after that, you know, I had to leave the state. I decided to leave the state and everything. And it just, it was special to come back home being a though it was my senior year. And then in Jersey City, where like half of my family is from. So that, that was cool to do. You truly battled through adversity in your senior year. Um, obviously, you were starter from day one, got hurt, missed six games uh, at a pretty pivotal part of the season uh, right there in late November and most of December uh, before coming back strong at the end of the month. Um, can you kind of put into words the ups and downs of, of your senior year um, and how hard you fought to overcome the injury? Well, coming into the season, I, I was confident. Like, I had a lot of confidence in myself and the coaching staff, the team. I felt like we was going to win and we could have won and we should have won. But, you know, everything doesn't always work out the way it's supposed to. And um, when I got hurt, it was kind of like the same thing. Like, I wasn't expecting to get hurt. Nobody was expecting me to get hurt. So just having to deal with that, you know, as far as being a senior to last year and then on a team full of younger guys where you have to lead and it's hard to lead if you're not, you can't lead by example, you know, like it's, it's easy to listen to someone when they're on the court with you, they're going through it, but when they're on the sideline and they're just outside looking in, so to speak, it's, it's kind of hard to lead that Bang, way. It rattles in. Well, first, uh, I want to get my degree first, you know, just to get that out the way. I don't have to worry about coming back to school, doing all that. And then I would like to play professionally somewhere overseas. Sam is going to finish as one of the most accomplished players uh, in league history. Uh, I think he's going to finish as the third leading scorer in the history of the program. Um, he's a guy that came in as a freshman. Uh, we didn't really know what to expect. Obviously, he's going to leave as one of the most talented uh, players to ever play in the program, okay? He came in, he was a four-year starter. Uh, started all, you know, all his games in his four years. Uh, excellent scorer. Um, fierce rebounder when he wanted to be. And uh, he's gonna, he left his mark on this league, and I think that uh, he'll be remembered in this league for a long time. Uh, a lot of teams basically prepared their defenses around what Sam was going to do during the game. So I thought he did a pretty good job of adjusting his game over the four years into what we were trying to do. Um, and obviously, he, he, he's going to leave, leave as one of the top scorers in the history of the program. So he really um, um, he put his, his name in, in, in the record books at NJCU. Um, happy for him. He's going to be missed also. Guy that always um, Good thing when you can have a, a player in your program for four years. And with all of the day, for me, it's going to be when they graduate. And one of the things I do as a coach is I attend every graduation of all my players. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, everybody knows you know, your inspiring life story. Um, you've accomplished more um, than most student athletes all around we've ever had in the history of the program and probably all sports at the school. Looking back um, from you know where you were four years ago to now, can you try to put, summarize, put in the words, just what this entire experience meant for you in your life? Um, 
grateful, blessed. Um, Made away by Tony. Gorgeous. Sam, Tony. Just uh, speechless. I mean, I, the opportunity that I was given was just, like I said, it was a, it was a blessing. So for me to, to come from and, and uh, from where I came from and all the things I did is just like, like I said, speechless. I'm, I'm grateful. I got the opportunity to meet a coach and play for school. A lot of people said, kept saying, "How was I going to be able to go to school and play for a coach?" And the, now they got the answer. You have something um, that is going to last for decades to come. That's a legacy here. You know, obviously, a two-time All-American, top five all-time score of number four in school history, 1,779 points, um, three NCAA tournaments. Um, what does it mean to you to have left such an important legacy on the history of a very proud program? Of all time. Tony, three. I mean, that means the world to me. Like I said, I'm blessed and I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity to come, for me to even be able to do that and, and do something I love, which is playing a game of basketball. Um, but all that, all the personal stuff doesn't doesn't really doesn't really matter. It's a good thing. It's a good uh, accomplishment. But I was more so in, in the beginning. It was hard because I, I was new. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't taught the game. I wasn't taught a lot of things about the game of basketball. But being uh, over there for four years, the biggest thing I was trying to do was get coach a championship, and I came short. Um, I, I felt as though I had a few chances to to make it happen, and it's. It's things I wish I would have done differently as far as um, helping the team out better. But other than that, um, like I said, I'm blessed. I, I, I gave it my all for four years. There's a couple of, like I said, there's a couple of things I would have done differently as far as just doing something else besides scoring because I, I know I could score. I got, I got a lot better defensively also, but if I was able to do a little bit more things, I think I could have helped us win at least one championship so for sure. In the next couple of weeks, I plan on signing an agent and, um, and going from there, um, seeing seeing where, where that role takes me. Uh, but also, I'm already I already have a full time position at Aramo Security Services as a security guard. So, and you know, that's my profession. That's what I want to do. I'm an almost security company. But uh, as long as I'm I'm local and I'm around, I'm probably going to stay here and, and just learn the ropes of the company and different aspects of the company. So when I'm ready to start my own, I know how to do it. And um, I got the experience enough to do it.